Why wasn't Aaron killed? And, and, and I think the answer is he didn't stand on the wrong right, side right, at right, the right, end. Right. And also, he, the general understanding is the leaders in this were the ones who were executed. And, uh, and he, was, he was not a leader in, in making it. He was a leader in not stopping it. Right. I think that's significant. So I'm just curious, what's the vote uh, on Aaron? Uh, do you have sympathy for the man? Do you think he's just a, a, a weak leader? Well, he's leader? played a pretty useful function so far, you know, so he made a mistake here, but he, he's been a necessary tool of Moses, like Moses was a necessary tool Look, of God. It's, it's hard to be a mediator. It's yeah, hard right. to be a communicator. And for me, I feel like it's not well, I don't know. I'm curious what you think of that because we're talking about him being a populist. But is he is he being a populist or does he lose his way once Moses is out of sight that he just doesn't know? The impression that you get of Aaron is mm -hmm. that of all the people in the in this book, the most loving person is Aaron. Right? Aaron, he loves his brother. Right? His brother shows up. His younger brother shows up and says, "I'm leading this people out, and you're going to be my assistant." And Aaron's like, "All for it." Mm -hmm. Right? Aaron's the older brother. I mean, there, there could have been conflict there. It's one of the only sibling relationships in the Bible where there really is no conflict. In fact, there's a pretty solid sibling solidarity between Aaron and Moses. Mm -hmm. uh, Aaron obviously loves Miriam also, right? I mean, there, there's the, the, the sister. And, and he loves the people, right? Which is why they bewail him when he dies. And so, you know, everything that he does is really sort of out of love and, and love for God too, because he's the high priest, right? So, so God obviously sees him in, in that context. And so it, it shows you how love when it's not tempered by, by fear can bring you to some pretty bad places, which you end up seeing with his sons, not Av and Avi, who, who have the same characteristics, right? He has two sons. They have the same characteristics as, as Aaron. They're very loving of God. They're zealous for God. And so they bring a foreign fire in front of God a little bit later on in the Bible, and they end up being killed for that. And, so the, and, and there's this really heartbreaking section where, where Moses is talking to Aaron about it, and, and Moses is trying to comfort Aaron. And he says, well, God takes those who are closest to him, essentially. Uh, and that's sort of the story of Aaron is that Aaron is, is, I think that the mistakes that he makes are mistakes that he makes out of love. Love for the people or love to, for his brother trying to preserve the people in spite of their sin, right? He doesn't really know what to do. I think he's paralyzed in this situation. He can see he's paralyzed by his response, which is nonsensical you, you know, and incoherent. There, there's, a kind of, there's a kind of goodness in that 